Now, we know that we need to encapsulate our data, meaning that we need to set our variables to be private, and then we can use our getters and setters, so public void set variable, and public, well, variable get that variable. Now, there is another way how can we do the same thing. And here I've created a player class for that purpose. So let's say this player has a private int power. And we want to get this power, but we don't want to create a public, well, void set power and public int get power. We can use the get and set accessors in order to do this. But for that, we need to create another variable, which is going to be public int power with capital P. And in order to create these accessors, we can open and curl, close our curly brackets. And here we can say get and again, open and close our curly brackets. And here we can say return power, but power with lower P. And here below it, so not inside of it, below it, we can say set, open and close curly brackets, and we can say power is equal to value. What this actually means is if, for example, we use our player class and we say player.power is equal to 100, well, that 100 is going to be this value right here. Again, we are using the lower P or the power with lower P, which is a private variable. Now, in order to actually see that I am modifying this variable, which is private right here using the public one, I am going to create a public int get power where I'm going to return this dot power with lower P. Now, let us see how this actually works. So here I'm going to create a private player class. I'm going to name it player is equal to new player. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here in the start function player.power is equal to, let's say, 150. And here I'm going to use debug.log. And here I'm going to use our player.getPower in order to get the power with lower P. But again, here I'm using the capital P, but here I've added the accessor methods. So the getter and setter. So here it's going to return the power for the getter and for the setter, as I said, power with lower P, which is our private variable is equal to value. Well, this value is this 150. And we can see this in action actually. Now, if we go back here and rerun our game, or the class, we see that our power is indeed 150. But as I said, we are using get power, which returns this power right here with the capital, excuse me, with the lower P, which is our private variable. So in the same way, we can, well, set it and get it. And here, if I was using this player dot power, so like this, it will also print me 150. So if I go back here, it's going to return me the same variable and we see 150 printed out in the console indeed. As I said, this is going to return the same variable because we are returning the power. We can do the same thing for a public in, for another public variable. So for example, if we have here public int, I don't know, shield, we can, well, use here our getters and setters so it's shield, so not shield, it's shield. And as I said, we can use here our getters and setters for this public int. So here we can write get and set, and this will be a shorthand for, well, writing this one right here, but this getter and setter will be used for this variable exclu exclusively. So it will not be used, for example, if we have here a private int, and let's say that private int is shield, so shield with lower s, and this one is with capital S. So this getter and setter will be used for this shield. This right here that we wrote is equivalent to writing this. So here we can type get and we say return shield with capital S and set. And we say here shield is equal to value. So this right here is equivalent, as I said, to writing, well, this one right here. In order to make the getter and setter for the private shield, we need to do it like this, using get return shield with lower s and set with shield lower s is equal to value.
And again, you can test that out using here a public int get shield, so on and so forth, the same way as we did here. So I just wanted to explain how can we use our getter, our get and set accessor in order to do the same thing as well what we are doing here with our public functions getter and setter. So again, we create a private variable with well a name and we create a public variable with that same name but capital letter or however you want to name them you can name all of the letters capital for the public one so on and so forth that depends on you but anyway you can use this getter then and return the private variable and use the setter and set the private variable as we just did here